Good day, welcome to Multimedia Design. In this tutorial, it's a quick tutorial. I just want to use it to teach some pieces of certain requests by one of the viewer. So, what is it? The how to use a single, how to create two materials on a single wall. So, there are two methods to that, and I'm going to teach you these two methods. What I mean is this this is a single wall, like this one, it's a single wall. It has different color surface on itself. I, this is not a uh, what is it called doing extrusion or being doing a or doing sweep. We do not model any external model on this one. Just a single wall that will change the surface and material. This one is part one. Is a surface what surface changing material. If you delete this one, now everything is gone. So if you turn it back, it's the same thing. So the same way you have this material on it individually. So Taking different material, I'm going to teach you that. So the same thing here as well. It's a single material as well. When you delete this wall now, the wall is gone. So you can have them back. The wall is there. So if you change this one again to the same wall, and just like changing this one and click on it, you see that it automatically change to the. So this is how it work. So these are the things that we're going to explain in this tutorial. So take so take your time and watch it perfectly. So let me go where I'm going to use. It. So here is the is the projects I'm going to use to do that. So the first thing I want to do is to teach this one that how to add that two color on a single wall. So what to do first is select the wall. You can select it from the plan. You can select it from 3D. So the name of the wall is known. So but what you need to do is to change the just click edit type from edit type. If you have this in view like this one. So what you just need to do is to click on preview like this. This expansion will come out. After you got this expansion in place, so what you need to do, you just need to click on first click on modify. So modify that word and change it to your home personal word name. So I'm going to call it for 200 cover. Just cover I'll call it. So you can name it anything of your choice. So I'm naming that as what to to the mm generic uh, to an mm cover. So after I've done this one, so what you need done, you have this is the place you are going to do the magic. So but you cannot work here. This is a plan uh, floor plan modified type. So you click on this arrow and you change it to section where you are going to be seeing the sectional form according to the way it's being created. So after you have this one in place, so what you need to do is to work on the structure. So the only way you want to do it now, you go to click on structure. When you are in the structure, you have the thickness is 200 mm. So how do you do that? I'm going to reduce this thickness. You can leave it like this and add more layer to it, but just leave it here. I just want to reduce it. I want to maintain that uh, 200 mm uh, that I have on some. So I'm going to reduce this one to 180 because this the part at which I want to use is just ordinary 20 mm. So I've reduced this one to 180. So what I need to do next is to click and what insert more layer upon this one. So I will go here, click on this, and say insert. So the layer one and another layer upon. So I'm going to have two layer because I want to do separate color. So you change this layer function. So you check this. So I'm going to use finish four on this one and finish four on this one. So when you do that one and you apply, you just click like click apply on it. So click to apply. So the it will definitely go by application. So what I want to do here now is that I have this one in place. So I need to change the thickness of only one of them. So what I will do here is to change the thickness of the below one. So I will change this one to 220 so that we complement this and everything will balance at what? That's 200. So 180 plus 20 be 200. So that is what I want to do. So definitely it appears. So you see that the layer is on, on it already. So what else do I need to do? The next thing I need to do, you can change the categories of the material, which is pure OK. So what do you do? Change the categories of this material. Click on this material now and select the material type that you know that is fitting. So select that one. So this one is aluminium two. So let's say I want to bring different material entirely. So I will click on the aluminium two to duplicate it. Aluminium two. Where is it? Anyway, 
if you don't have that so click on this and say duplicate because of the work so i'm changing this one to aluminium that is aluminium starting you can rename it of your choice but the only most important thing is the appearance so you click on the appearance and then select appearance from the from library then you go to work paint depends on you you can use any material from here just work one pay what paint i still want to use i want to use matis so i'm searching for dark red so dark red is what i want to now we say okay so i will say apply and then okay so aluminum 13 has been selected on this one and it's changed to it so it's only this one that did not have anything so it doesn't want that so just click on it like that so you're going to do something quick so after you have done this one what do you need to do the next thing you do is to split this wall so you come here and click on split select the wall number two that is the middle wall then you say split so it you come to this position whenever you see that it cross across the line cross across it is when you click so you don't click don't go and click at the front uh, out at the external part it's only this one that you need to work on so select that the moment you see the line across it you can click on it so it has been separated like that so after that you see the that determine the height of what you are working on so the where the color is supposed to be so i'm going to use the height of 1000 from the color from the ground to that to that point so i'm going to click on modify you click on modify you go back there and select that modification line that particular line so that line now you allow you to adjust you can drag it down if you want to but i always use this one so that i will get accurate uh, number so 1000 millimeter so that is what you get here so the variable has been chosen which is what now it's been variable you're asking the same thing the reason why you chose to be variable is that you're having the same what is it called uh you're having the same my function of a material on what on the two different layer but at their parts the part are what are equal so what do you do here this one has been turning to red so when you do that one you now click on assign material click on assign material now <coughs> and you choose the lower part so the lower part has been assigned this particular material which is okay fine for you so this material is there for you so now you go to the top up up level up level you leave it that one that manner so the next thing you do for the up level is to change the material of that one so the material of the up level you're going to change it to the lower the 200 because it's going to maintain the same to a uh, aluminium two so you click on aluminium two the previous one that you duplicated and you click ok so you have this material in place now so what do you do you say assign material you click on this and you say assign material and then you select the upper part so that's all and you click ok so when you click ok now when you go back to that that place you see that you have the same now let me before you click you can see this is the thing the variable you choose yeah look at the thickness the thickness maintain you are you, you only edit the below one but because you have already assigned the material because when you choose the variable they are using the same function that is finish one finish one into bracket four both of them so on the only thing that the materials are different but they are using the same variable that is why their layers are what the thickness are equal but their layers are one another so you have done that one by assigning material by choosing for each one of you one of them so click ok when you click ok and you click ok again automatically you should see the to total changes so this is it it changes automatically so this is the wall that you have you can create many you can assign more many it depends on your choice and that's how you work on the graphics uh, layer of the color so after you have done this one you can decide to change the color in future or so if i will go there edit the type go back here and then you can change the color depends on your choice so you just is what you just need the variable will be there the layer has already been was permanent because you are using the same function except to change the name and change it to another thing and that's that time that you know will be the law that there has uh, that is known before so let me now go to the next one which is going to be the surface part so this wall is now permanent so you can decide to change this one too like that so select it what is the work over to select that and look for a wall mmm cover 
can imagine. So you do over it and you want to change this particular one to itself, it is uh, 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 available. But I'm not using this one, will go back there and change it back to the way it was. So we have this. Now let us go and work on this one. There are ways you can work on this one by splitting the surface. So you are going to split the surface of this wall. So when you do when you do that one, it's going to give you the variety like this particular one. So you see this kind of varieties on the wall. So I'm going back to teach you there. So now look at this particular one. What will you do is that you click on the you can click on the wall. Then you say modify. When you are here now, the wall can be modified. So you click on what split surface. On the split surface, you say as you select the surface that you need to work on the front surface or the exterior surface that is what is more important so you click on this one so and you can draw any pattern the way you want your pattern to be you can just rectangle you can just so i'm going to use just rectangle to do that so you just decide to draw it in this way and the most important thing is that you do not allow the wall you must give the space down so that the thing will not be colliding with another let me just do this one as a sample and see so this is what you have done here so I did the boundary, then start adjusting to your to the rightful position. Good. So from here now you do you need to so when you click on finish, you have already created the you have created the surface. Only the surface is affected, it doesn't affect the structure. So what do you do here is that when you click on it, so you say come to the paint. So you click on paint. The paint is the same thing as the way you are using your uh, material stuff. So you just let me use aluminium to first. So I will just select aluminium to and select that particular. When you show you the blue color, it show you that okay, you can pick this region and paint it alone. So click on it. Sorry, control set. So go back here. Select this. So you pick on this region and it will show. So it's only the blue region. When you show the blue region, don't pick the external part. So the blue region is what you need to work on. So you click that, it's okay. So the next thing you can just click another layer by saying split surface. So split surface again, you pick this surface. So you draw the rectangle the same way. Depends on your choice. You can use it, you can use polygon to do whatever you want to do. It's your choice to work with. So I'm going to use this one again. So align with this particular place where so I click finish. When I click finish now, I go to paint again. At the painting, I choose another color, which is this uh, this particular one. So at the blue side of it, you select the blue and you click. Only when you selected the only one, only the blue. So you click on it to definitely change. Can you see? You can decide to change the color if you feel like changing it. So I'm going to use this one. You can change it as well. So it will just go. So, the third part of it is what you need to do is to click another surface. So after you choose the surface again, you select the surface entirely. So you click here. Then you do the rectangle surface. And you draw. So after you have done with that one, so you click on the... You just click finish. So you select the, the paint again. Then this time around you choose something like this. Then you come here and paint. So when you select only one, because you know when you select outside, if you pick everything exterior, you can paint the only the surface exterior, but you know so you have to bring your cursor around the, the rectangular part that you, you split it. So from there you paint that spot space and everything is done. So, so I've done this one, you can like okay. He, this one is being painted, the material is being assigned, so that is all in what we want to do, do at this junction. So, when you go to elevations, every, every corners of the elevation, you can see there. So, let me just quickly show you that so you can imagine. So, this is it. You can later adjust everything here by double clicking. If you want it to be to align, by just push it up. Can you see? So, you just like finish it. So, that's the way you adjust. If this one is too big for you, the same way. Just double click on it. Or just click on it and say I did boundary. You definitely do and you finish it up from there. So that is how you work on what? On the surface. So these are the things we teach here. So if you like this one and you are seeing this one, you just change that to 
the normal color of color cover. It will be you by doing that. So that's how you work everything all together in general. So that is the trick I want to express to you. But yes, if you are new to this kind of something, this is a quick training for you. Thanks for watching. See you in our original content program that we have.